everyone, today is Ice King videos. And today I'm gonna show you guys what iCloud DNS bypass no I yeah iCloud DNS bypass looks like in 2021. So as you could see through after all these years, so remember there used to be an iCloud DNS bypass. Well, as you could see, they have sadly changed it. So, as you can see here, is like an IDNS portal login. But, as you can see, I'm trying to get this, wait, I'm trying to get this clear. So, what's happened is, I was just on my device and remember iCloud DNS bypass with all the crashes and the bugs and like news and stuff? Well, I want to tell you some news. It's been replaced with this. It's been updated and they have changed it to IDNS portal instead so that's kind of typical it should be idns bypass or something like that so so this is the new version of icloud dns bypass i'm going to turn on the the light mode here you can actually change the theme actually let's switch it to light because it makes it more like iOS real so as you can see what's happened here is if we go to applications as you can see all the crashes are gone, which is a shame. As you can see, luckily, in alternative interfaces, I hacks and that is still there. But as you can see, when you click on them, they don't work anymore. As you can see, when you click these two buttons, this is what they say. Turn off the, turn the screen connect to Wi-Fi within two minutes. So as you can see, this is one of the problems is, and it's the same with iCloud DNS Bypass. I can't get to any of the websites now because of this silly update. So, I don't know why they've done this. Like, there is no reason to do this. So, as you can see, your information is there now. And as you can see, the original clock and the original calendar have been replaced. So, this is what, what the clock looks like now. Boo, 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 absolutely sucks. Voiceover on. Like clock. Full. BTNNA. Back. B back. So, as you could see, here is the new layout. I like the icons, but sadly, some of the old information there is gone now. And there used to be a test call thing in the iCloud DNS bypass, which is sadly gone now. I didn't want daily motion. Let's. Wi Fi hotspot will get back. So, as you can see, they have changed lots of things. So, this happened like a week ago. So, this is the latest updates. You can still look at your information, but lots of the information has been removed. Like, um, for example, the lock status and, like, information, the credit and lots. As you can see, this is when it was updated. 28th of August. So, it's a shame to see lots of the original features gone. Offline mode is still offline, not working. Device information is completely gone now. Sadly removed. And as you could see, you can still search and put ba press basic apps, but a lot of, of the, like, iCloud Freedom links are gone, like the Crack OS thingy there's gone, the two Apple device things gone. Yes, lots of things have changed, and it's a real shame. I'm going to show you what the old one used to look like. So, this is the old DNS bypass. This is what it used to look like. And this is what it looks like now. And, yep, they've even removed the flashlight. Absolutely ridiculous. So, your iCloud DNS, like, social things moved here now. If, it, like, the whole iCloud DNS bypass information things moved into information now. It should be here, but it's gone which is a shame. So, as you could see, a lots of the things are gone. Even the news has changed. Where is the news? There it is. As you can see, it used to show iCloud news and stuff, but now it just takes you to actual news now. That's a shame. As of 2021, the legendary iCloud DNS bypass website is gone. And it's been replaced with iDNS portals, captive portal. Here is... Here is the reason why they've done it. Number one reason is why they've done it. It's because of lots of 
issues and lots of bugs, which has been happening recently. Number two is it may be unsafe because it kept saying it was a spam, my Wi-Fi filter. Weird. It wasn't, actually. And number three is they just wanted to just let it go. Just like... And that's number one. And, like, number zero was updates and information and stuff. So... If you want, if you missed the old IDNS bypass thing, you have to do it a different way now. So, like I said in my old video, you had to go to search an address bar. No, the address bar is being filtered out to say 404 not found. So, as you can see, we need to do it a new way. How to get back to the old iCloud DNS bypass website again? Well, for starters, you go to search, you go to Google, not address bar, just Google. And then you scroll down and hit I agree. You type in U, UI dot I, and as you can see, it will just pop right at the top. And then you click the top one. No other ones, just the top one, and there you go. You're in. As you can see, you are in. You are in the website again. So that's how you get to it now. And as you can see, there it is. There's all the old icons and stuff. Even settings and the S. So as you can see, they have replaced it. And this is going to go soon. Which is a real shame because I liked this. Also, it used to tell you the information, the build, your user agent and many more stuff so as you can see the 1st of August and they've replaced the server entirely so that's it that's how you get to iCloud DNS bypass and lots more updates now the weird thing is the creator iGeorge July hasn't said any of this like he hasn't made a video about it no news nothing so, as you could see, thanks for watching, subscribe, and click the like.